I wanna have some fun today. You guys wanna have some fun? Other than making fun of windows? Come along with me. We're gonna do something that's probably gonna be stupid, but I'm in Huntsville State Park and it's a beautiful day, so let's play some radio. So this video is kind of multi-purpose. First off, when I was at Huntsville Ham Fest a couple weeks ago, I was talking with Scott from Ellicraft and I'm like, you guys really need to make a, like a KH-1, but for single sideband. Are we ever gonna see a sideband version of this? See, I actually said that. So, part two of this, my friend Joe Brett, K5YVY, gave me a couple antennas that he didn't want for some reason, which is just ludicrous to me, uh, to try out. And uh, I brought my Zygu X5105 out here to the park because it has a PTT on it and it has a speaker built in, a microphone rather, built in. So we can use this as an HT. And I haven't used this radio in a while and I feel like using it. So Joe Brett, k 5 wavy gave me these two MFJ antennas. You've got the MFJ 1840T. This is a 40 meter antenna. And we're gonna be using today the MFJ 1820T. These are just little telescopic whips. You probably got about, I don't know, three and a half, four feet of radiator and uh, presumably a loading coil and a BNC. And C, this is not so much for the old guys who are kind of stuck in their ways about QRP radios, but I posted a short a few days ago uh, when I was over there and why QRP radios are a good thing to have. And one of the comments I got uh, that gets reverberated a lot of times, so this is for you new guys, why would you want a QRP radio? Well, this radio and a lot of QRP radios has an internal battery, an internal tuner, uh, a speaker, a microphone, everything. And it all fits in this little Carhartt lunch bag. I got a little three amp hour BioNO battery if I need it, which by the way, you can save five, 10% at BioNO by using code HRT, not an affiliate link. I get no money from it. It's just Kevin's a good dude and agreed to give my viewers a discount. So if you want a BioNO battery or anything from BioNO, use code HRT when you are checking out. So today's a good day to try this because my confidence in these antennas is quite low. Fortunately, uh, I have already activated this park. I was hiking this morning and here we are at the dam. Over there is my Forrest Gump bench, which you probably can't see. It's like right behind those trees. I do a lot of hiking and activating from there, but a lot of the trails are closed from storm damage. So I went, you can see that little building there, uh, right next to that little, that's just a, signpost basically um, but right next to that is a picnic bench so we have the Forrest Gump bench over there and then I just decided to name the bench over there the Forrest Whitaker bench so my goal Scott and everyone at Ellicraft this is really for them but for everybody is to see if we can use this little antenna which has a BNC and we just pop it here like such and uh, the PTT is right here so we've got an HF walkie-talkie right here in my hands with probably the worst antenna in the world I brought a counterpoise as well we'll see what happens so I'm gonna log with uh, Polo on my phone and we'll see if we can make some contacts with an HF HT so let's see what we can do we'll push her on Hey, we're, we're hearing the dulcet tones of FT-8. Look at that. No counterpoise. Let me turn off the tuner. SWR is peaking between 2.0 to 1 to 4.0 to 1. But let's turn on the tuner. I bet you it'll work. Yeah, maybe 2 to 1 there. Not too shabby. I did make a counterpoise. It's not a good one, but it's one nonetheless. So I just took some 26 gauge wire and hooked it up to this little banana clip, alligator clip, whatever you want to call it. And this is so not the right length counterpoise. I just clipped it on there to the base. Hey, 
Eh, doesn't seem to matter. We'll use it anyway. Throw it out there somewhere. But see, Ellicraft, see all this background noise I got to hear? If you guys made one, it'd be good. It'd be quiet. We're hearing people. So let me find a clear frequency, and uh, I'm probably just going to sit down here and use my X5105 as an HT. An HF HT. Hoorah! Well, 14282 hasn't had anybody on it here while I've been listening. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? Kilo 8 Micromeo Delta. I don't know, maybe we can go there. I'm gonna say we rock right here. Go ahead and spot ourselves. I'll say I'm QRP 14282. Seeky Parks on the air, Seeky Parks on the air from Kilo 8 Micromeo Delta. Whoops. Seeky Parks on the air, Seeky Parks on the air from Kilo 8 Micromeo Delta at Huntsville State Park, US 3019. Calling Seeky Pota, Seeky Pota from Kilo 8 Micromeo Delta. Nothing on the first try. Might as well go home. Seeky Parks on the air, Seeky Parks on the air from Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta at Huntsville State Park, US 3019, calling Seeky Pota, Seeky Pota from Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta. Whiskey Zero, Charlie Golf, Charlie. Whiskey Zero, Charlie Golf, Charlie, I know I can always rely on you. <laughs> You're about a 5x7, 57. Man, I'm running the X5105 as a HF HT with a MFJ, uh, just a little loaded uh, 20 uh, meter whip on it. I'm making a video trying to see if it works. Roger, roger. I got to give you credit. You're making a trip into Tennessee. I got you about a full four, full four, but perfectly readable, my friend. Always a pleasure. Seventy three. Hey, thanks so much, Chris. Thanks for coming back and good chat in 73. And QRZ from Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta parks on the air. Kilo November 3 Alpha, I've got you about a 5.5 five into US 3019. Roger the 1418, thanks for the park to park, have fun out there. 73 QRZ, Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta parks on the air. Whiskey Delta 8, November Victor, November, 5x5 five five in Huntsville, Texas. QSL 5x5, five five, you're 5x9, five Ohio, 5x9, Ohio, and um, thanks for the park. Roger that, thanks for the 5'9 Ohio, and uh, have a great day, 73 QRZ, Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta, parks on the air. Hey, we got three. My phone's overheating and I can't hardly see the screen. November 5, Lima Oscar Tango Portable. Got you about a 4-4, 44 into Texas. Roger that. Thanks for the contact. 73. QRZ, Kilo 8, Mike Romeo Delta. Parks on the air. I can't believe this is working. November 6, Golf Romeo. November 6, Golf Romeo. Good 5-9 here into Texas. Rod to the 5-5 five, five New Mexico, thanks, 73. He was a legit 5-9, too. Was it Whiskey Bravo 9 Victor Victor Hotel? Rod to the 5-5 five, five East Tennessee, I got you about a 4-3, 43 in Texas. It's only been five minutes since the first QSO, and we've made six does get heavy. See, Ellicraft, if you made this, it'd be so much lighter. Was it Victor Echo 2 Hotel Charlie Papa? The Victor Echo Station? The Victor Echo Station?
Uh, I think you said 4885 and 5482. I don't have your full call sign, though. What's your call? I got Victor Echo something Hotel Charlie Papa. What's the number? Okay, I got it. Victor Echo 3, Hotel Charlie Papa, and let me confirm the parks. I have Charlie Alpha 4885 and Charlie Alpha 5482. Roger, Roger. Hey, thanks for the two for man. Thanks for the contact. 73 QRZ, Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta parks on the air. Kilo Quebec 4, Uniform Foxtrot Echo, got you 5x5 five five in Huntsville State Park. Route of the 5-2 Virginia, thanks, 73. Need one more, because we got a twofer. CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air from Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta at Huntsville State Park, US 3019, calling CQ Pota, CQ Pota from Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta. I thought that was going to be the one. Uh, Kilo Echo 5 Yankee, Yankee Charlie, was it? Uh, barely have you, Mike. Uh, Kilo Echo 5 Yankee, Yankee Charlie, uh, 5 and 4, 54, New Mexico. Roger, 5 4, New Mexico. You're 5 5, 55, Texas, Tango X ray. No, I'm at a park. I'm on a I'm on a Zygu X5105 with a little loaded uh, whip attached to the BNC on it, just using it as a HFHT. Oh, excellent. Hey, uh, thanks, Mike. Appreciate you, man. Take care. Right on, man. Thanks for the contact. 73 QRZ Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta parks on the air. We are activated. Was it Kilo Alpha 5 Hotel? Roger the 4-7, New Mexico. Got you about a 5-4, 54 in Texas. Good job, good luck. Thanks so much, 73. All right, uh, KNMRD is QRT. <laughs> I'll be dipped in you know what. All right, that was fantastic. I'm amazed that actually worked. 1735 was the first QSO, 1748 was the last. So uh, what's that, 13 minutes to get uh, 10 contacts. We actually had 11 because uh, VE3 HCP was at a twofer. So we got 11 contacts in 13 minutes with this terrible antenna. I love that. So that's pretty cool, huh? So the whole point of this, aside from encouraging Ellicraft to make a small sideband radio, like the KH-1, is really for you new guys getting into radio, or maybe you're just thinking about getting a QRP radio, and you ask some guys at the club, and they're just, and, and they're, a common response I hear reverberated over and over again from the guys that just don't get it, is, you can just take a 100 watt radio and turn the power down to five watts. Well, that totally defeats the purpose. Uh, sure, you can. You can. I mean, if you want to just go to your picnic bench and uh, lug your 7300 or your 891 or whatever 100 watt radio you have, turn the power down, you can. But those have a larger current draw, like 7300, 891 draw like a solid amp just on receive. The FTDX10, I think, is closer to two amps, maybe a little bit higher than that. So you need a bigger battery. It, everything is more weight. Look at this, everything packs into this little lunch bag. I could just take, I could just do this right here. Take the antenna, put it in the bag. There's my whole radio, that's it. So tell me you can do that with an 891 or a 7300 or whatever 100 watt radio you have, you can't, you just can't. So the difference between QRP and 100 watt radios is not just about turning the power down, it's about the size of the radio, it's about the weight of the radio, having an internal battery, an internal tuner, which I don't really care about tuners, but in this case it definitely helped because of the terrible antenna we're using, and we got out, we got 11 freaking contacts, so QRP is not 
just low power. It's the equipment. It's the things that let me hike 1.75 miles to my Forest Whitaker bench. Or when I go from this way, it's uh, a three mile hike one way to my Forest Gump bench. It's actually three and a half miles. So hike three and a half miles each way, seven mile hike, round trip with an 891, like a 10 amp hour battery, and tell me how much your life sucks when you get back in your car and your back hurts from carrying all that weight. Guys, my name is Mike, K at MRD. I hope this was as exciting a video for you as it was for me. Probably not, because I'm out here and you're in TV land, so. <laughs> but thanks so much for watching. Hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Thanks, and uh, yeah, I already said that, so bye.